What's going on, YouTube fam? This your boy Tony Two Times, man. Today we got some real sad news. 30 year old Zach Stoner, aka Zach TV One, was fatally shot and killed this morning in the South Loop neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. About 1.30 this morning, according to witnesses, a caprice pulled up on the side of Zach's Jeep and opened fire where he was shot in the head and neck. His car crashed into a light pole where he was later took to Northwest Memorial Hospital where he died from his injuries. Man, it's a sad situation. I've been rocking with Zach for like six years now, you feel me? He was one of my favorite bloggers, definitely. You feel me? He been doing this for a minute. He was turned up for a city. He looked out for Chicago. You know what I mean? All he talked about was putting Chicago on the map and Chicago sticking together. This man ain't smoke. He ain't drink. You feel me? He was just a positive dude that just wanted to shed light to his city and put everybody on. Zach got publishing deals. You feel me? He was traveling a lot. He was doing what he had to do. He didn't have to be in Chicago. He got his bread up. But everybody asked him why he didn't leave. He said he wanted to stay and help the youth, which he did. He used to go to dudes' neighborhoods, to the projects and stuff, take the little dudes that was on the block that posed have been in school, took them shopping, you know what I mean? Just tried to be like a big brother to him and tried to look out for him. This sad, this hit close to home, you feel me? I ain't know Zach personally. I mean, we shared a couple DMs where I DM'd him, asked him how much for an interview. I chopped it up with him for a minute and I was just actually trying to get an interview with him, you feel me? But man, this bad, you feel me? Like, it's like a crab bucket mentality, man. It's like people don't want to see you make it out. I just don't understand, you feel me? Like, from what I'm hearing from Chicago, this dude ain't ain't getting to with nobody. He wasn't beefing with nobody. He messed with everybody. He stayed to himself. He was just about his bread. And it's like a crab in a bucket mentality, you feel me? You kill a dude that ain't bothering nobody, that's just out here trying to take care of his family, that's really trying to make the city better, that's trying to take care of the people in the city and put people on. If somebody like this can't make it out, man, I don't know, man. It's sad. As a young black man, I feel this one. You feel me? A successful young black man that put in the work. He the one motivated me to grab a camera, start shooting, and start messing with certain things. You feel me? It's crazy, man. You know what I mean? I pray for his family, but at the end of the day, man, he was a legend with that camera. You feel me? He was, like, one of the first people that got interviews with, like, Chief Keith before anybody knew who he was with Lil Dirt and a lot of other artists from Chicago, you feel me? I mean, they got a video surfing on the internet where you see a couple guys outside the car saying, that's Zach, that's Zach. So I don't know if it was a case of mistaken identity or I don't know if these dudes thought he was somebody else, you feel me? I guess the truth will come out eventually, but man, this is a sad one, you feel me? I wanna say R.I.P. Zach, for real. I've been following bro for a long time, for a long time, you feel me? He just seemed like a real humble dude. Seemed like he was about his bread. He was about his business, man. I want everybody to stay safe out here. My prayers go up to this man family, for real, man. It's your boy Tony two times. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment to the video. I'm out.